partner in crime right here, Mr. Enzo. Enzo, Enzo. You ready to get this garden done? You get off. To that hobbit bitter Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking That maybe you're not different Good morning, everybody here we're going to be broad forking our beds. I inoculated a lot of biochar. I did two runs in a retort. I added bat guano, gluten-free flour. Um, what else did I add? Compost and mushroom compost and worm castings. Added some water, mixed it all in and let it marinate for about 24 to 30 hours now the question is do I have enough biochar to do my seven beds no I don't but that's okay this is gonna be a process it's gonna take years to well not years but a couple years to perfect we got clay soil um, the compost and the mushroom compost I added to the soil last year I can tell a huge difference from what I brought forth already as to the quality of the soil. I want the deep, black, rich soil. It's getting there. Now, right here is all the biochar I have left. I have threw some in three beds. This should take care of maybe two more beds maybe. And I'm just getting a container, throwing it in the beds, then I'm gonna go behind and then broad fork. Now, after I'm done with that, I'm gonna take the hose, I'm gonna wet it all down real good, and then cover it with the silage tarp. Now, it, that got me thinking. Once when it's covered and wet, will the biochar still charge? With it being wet underneath the silage tarp, I think it might. I don't know, I'm not a professional. This is all trial and error. I hope you guys can learn from me, which I'm sure you will. But please chime in with any expertise you have, any pointers, it's much appreciated. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I wanna get this done as soon as possible so I can get the chickens out. Um, I kept them locked in for the time being because I don't want them over here scratching up what I'm doing. They already scratched up some leaves into the beds, which is okay. It's not too bad where it's going to mess up the whole process. But I want to get that silage tarp down as soon as possible. Um, it's a little windy today. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's get started. going to take a lot. It will work its way down into the soil. All right, so I got enough to do five beds that measure out about 50 foot. Each bed is three foot wide and my walkways are three foot wide. So I got two beds that didn't get the biochar, which is okay because I'm gonna document the five beds that have it and then the two beds that don't have the biochar. So <clears throat> got, I'm gonna have to get the notepad out and just take notes, see what happens now. After I broad fork, I'm going to introduce my European earthworms into the soil. After I wet it down, then I'm going to cover it up with the silage tarp, and we'll be good to go. So yeah, 
Fun times. I cannot wait. This is going to be exciting. No more tilling. This is going to be all natural. It's going to be fun to see how our veggies grow compared to when we tilled last year on virgin ground. We got hard clay here. And I could tell a big difference from what I brought forth up. The soil was real loose. It had color to it. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Please note, I am not a biochar professional. I've done a lot of research. I'm sure I could have done things just a little bit differently, but you know, we all live and learn. So this is the raw fork I chose to get. It's Treadlight Square Foot Gardener. I also had them put their new organic coating on the tines, safe for your soil. I also chose to have their steel rods instead of the wood. This should last a lifetime. It's the beast. Yes, it's a little heavy, but it's gonna last you a lifetime. I cannot wait to use it. It's gonna be one awesome workout, which is, it's needed for me. <laughs> so yeah, let's get to work. I also would like to thank the Fit Farmer for recommending Tread Light. Uh, maybe someday down the road, I can work with Tread Light and do some, uh, some vlogs. All right, let's get to work. <laughs> Kaylee, is the broad fork easy to use? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. Keep lifting. There you go. Just like that. Yeah, it's good. good. Good job. All right, everyone, I am taking a breather. I tell you, this tread light bra for it is a beast but it is doing an amazing job so as you can see i'm doing it about every six inches and just working it down into the soil lifting up now you do not turn the soil over you just lift up and let it rest back down if you turn the soil over you introduce the weed seeds that's in the seed bank to the surface and you don't want that to happen by broad forking it keeps the weed seeds down in, in the weed bank the weed bank sorry about that the weed seed bank so you're aerating the soil all this compost you see on the surface 
as you lift up on the broad fork a lot of it just finds its way down underneath which is awesome yeah you still see a bunch of compost but it's all good it will eventually find its way down now after we're done broad forking we're going to spray down the the rows introduce the european earthworms take down the stakes and strain and put down the salvage tarp and weigh it down with sandbags i'm almost done with my first row it took me probably 10 minutes so far but i'm getting a hang of it but I tell you, this thing here is a beast. Now I'm also going to take a look at the tines once I'm done to see if the organic coating is holding up and not flaking and falling off. So hopefully it's staying on and not coming off. So I will let you guys know about that. But look at the job it's doing. It's awesome. No more tiller. I am strictly broad fork now, and it's a good workout. So, folks, if I can do it, yes, I'm a little bit out of shape. If I can do it, you can do it. Not bad, huh? Post on top and the biochar kind of just falls down into the crack. You want to shake us up and get a little bit more down in there. Now what I found to be a little bit more better is go back and just stab at it a little bit and pull just to open up the top a little bit. I don't know if anybody else has done that but it's just a little experiment. Go back. And again, you don't want to turn your soil completely over and bring those seeds that's in the seed bank. Those seeds that are in the seed bank, the majority of them are, are weed seeds. You definitely don't want that growing in your garden. For the most part, broad forking is pretty simple. 
It's relaxing. Kind of puts you in a meditative state of mind. Just you, the soil, and guinea squawking. Whoa. Try not to fall forward. All right, so Kaylee and I are ready to introduce the European Nightcrawlers into the rows. Now, we didn't get to brought for two out of the seven rows. It's getting kind of late, and we have a lot of other stuff to get done. But as you can see, it's not looking bad. We still have two rows left to do, but we'll do those next weekend. We wetted it down. And now it's time to throw the worms in and then get that cover on as soon as possible. All right, so the silage tarp is done. The only thing that's left to do is to peel it back and brought a fork just two rows. But other than that, we are done. Everything got wet down. The worms have a new home. Gotta look after the worms. I fed them apples. I took care of them. I nursed them. <laughs> but yeah, the tarp is done. It's a 40 by 50 foot Silas tarp from Haas Tools. The only downfall to this tarp is it does not have a white side. It's just strictly black. That's the only downfall. But other than that, it's a great tarp. Me and Kaylee rolled it out pretty quick. So if we can do it, you can do it. And if we can broad fork, you can broad fork. So now it's back to doing regular chores gotta go to the landfill get rid of our trash feed the pigs mix pig feed also need to let the chickens out let them enjoy this beautiful day right kaylee yes all right so that concludes our 40 by 50 foot garden I uh, must admit that broth fork was pretty nice. Matter of fact, let's go take a look at the tines real quick. I had them put their organic coating on, and I told you guys I was going to inspect. So let's do some inspection. Well, the coating, folks, sorry to say, is scratched off. Now the coating is still here. You know where your foot goes and underneath. You got a little bit of coating here, but up here, no coating. Just imagine, now you gotta look at this from, sorry about the song. You gotta look at this from two angles. If you got it painted, you would have chemicals in your soil right now. This was coated with organic natural coating. That's what's in my soil right now, no chemicals, so we're all good. My suggestion to you is, if you order from Treadlight, just get a basic steel. Don't get it 
painted, don't get the organic coating. Just go for just pure raw steel. That's what I would go with. But other than that, it's a great product. Love it. I would definitely order from them again and I would recommend them. All right, on to the next chore. Boom. Oh, we got some air. <laughs> Alright, so now we got the chickens doing their work down here in this section of the garden. They did their work up top where we just installed the silage tarp. Um, they scratched it all up. They pooped everywhere. They did an excellent job. So now they just need to work on this area. This area right here is probably where I put uh, my cantaloupe, my wildflower garden for the honeybees, and watermelon. Maybe some pumpkin. Last year, my pumpkin didn't do so well. The biggest pumpkin I grew was probably about 72 pounds. Yes, that's a massive pumpkin, but as far as your average pumpkin, they all were not good. So I don't know if I'm gonna do pumpkin this year, but my watermelon turned out great and so did the cantaloupe. So yeah, we're gonna have the chickens work this area right here for probably the next month or so. Might get another silage tarp, tarp this off. I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, appreciate everyone tuning in. Please subscribe, hit that like button. Help us out. Every like, every subscriber helps our channel and we greatly appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you.